Hello there again, people. Kevin here on Tech of Tomorrow. Those of you that caught us yesterday saw that we did a first hour impressions of Splinter Cell Blacklist, and while I was at it, I picked up another big title that came out that we've been really looking forward to. So get ready to see the beginnings of one of the foulest, raunchiest, most hilarious games we've been looking forward to this year, Saints Row 4. So, Saints Row 4 has taken the changes that we started to see in Saints Row the Third, and has taken them to a whole different level, basically throwing away any notion that the game is just a slightly wackier GTA competitor, but instead something completely of its own design. Basically, the first hour is all you really need to gather the fact that this game is completely insane, and does its best to make sure the plot and activities of the game are as incoherent as possible. To begin with, we have a nice little mission to save the world, followed by becoming president, then aliens invade, then a personal hell in the form of basically Pleasantville, and right back to the free roam sandbox game we know. Sort of. Instead of just relying on cars and guns and all the other things we're used to in the franchise, Saints Row 4 takes things a step further in the direction of the weird by basically turning the setting into the Matrix, and giving players the power to break the rules with superpowers. To begin with, I've only obtained the powers of super speed and jumping, but those alone have already reshaped the way the game's played and how exploration is handled. With these powers, players find new activities like time trials and tower climbing, along with some classic favorites like throwing yourself into traffic as much as possible. Now, I'd like to note that for the first hour of gameplay, I chose to just take the default character design to save time and get you guys this footage and my thoughts. But it must be mentioned that the character creator in this one is just as robust and psychotic as it was in 3. And I plan to make full use of it next, because had I done that first, well, I'd still be making my character as we speak. I'd also like to point out one of my favorite little jokes amongst the character creation options, the voice options, with three male ones, three female ones, and deserving his own named category, Nolan North for those of you that are fans of Uncharted and the recent Deadpool game. Now this game is not shy about flexing the voice talent behind it, and I'd have to say my personal favorite new addition to the supporting cast would have to be Keith David playing, well, Vice President Keith David. Now the fact is, I've only played for about an hour and there's already too many different things to talk about. I haven't even scratched the surface yet talking about weapon, car, and clothing options, the actual plot, or at least what madness stands for plot, and a plethora of gaming parodies and pop culture jokes that already seem innumerable. So to really see how it compares to its predecessor and how it stands overall as a full game, I'm going to have to spend the next couple weeks just really losing myself in it and probably calling into sick work a few times. Sorry John and Elric, you guys didn't hear that part. Now if this was enough to make you already want to buy the game, you can check out the link in our description to see how you can grab it for yourself, and while you're down there, make sure to hit the like button like a madman to let us know how you appreciate this content. And if you haven't yet, also subscribe to stay up to date in all of our future videos, including my full reviews of Saints Row 4, Splinter Cell Blacklist, and all the big holiday titles we're getting really excited for. Till then, I'm Kevin, you've been watching Tech of Tomorrow, and we'll catch you guys next time.